Must be Sunday. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. Doing another round of magazine harvests in the hashtag harvested mag swap that I'm doing with Amy at Doki Doki Forest and Jean Bainey. These are the magazines that I harvested. I then, once I harvested them, sent them to Amy and she harvested them and she sent the same pack that I harvested, she harvested on to Jean so Jean could harvest them. And then Jean sent them back to me. So these are my original magazines. And I have to say at first, I did not recognize them as such. In fact, I had to stop recording, regroup, figure out what I was looking at, and then it all came back to me. What had happened was sometimes the magazines got harvested so much there was a page left or a cover and nothing else and so if something i sent to amy was pretty harvested and then she harvested it and there really wasn't much for jean she put a substitute harvested magazine in there and so i didn't recognize some of the things and some of the things i didn't recognize but they in fact were mine originally because it's been since august not drinking coffee this morning i want to share with you drinking good nature wild time tea i've had a pretty bad cold the last two weeks or so and this is supposed to help with sinus problems and the junk in your throat from having a cold clear up your chest help with asthma copd breathing issues all of which are problematic around here Whew. i have to tell you it smells so strong when I open the box. It smells like a fresh bo fresh bottle of Italian spices. <laughs> to me, I think it smells like oregano. I like sweet teas, sweet coffee, sweet, creamy. This is very savory, so for me, it's going to be an acquired taste. But if it helps, I'm all for it. Again, it's by good nature. It's wild thyme tea. And it doesn't taste nearly as strong as it smells, thankfully. I was almost afraid to try it. it I thought I'd have some kind of crazy allergic reaction to it. <laughs> but I didn't. And it's not that strong at all. In fact, I put a little bit of organic raw honey in it. And it's, it's quite good. This is my second cup. And I like it. It's growing on me. So anyway, back to what we were doing. This is an open collaboration, meaning anyone who wants to play along can. If you do a video about it, please tag us in and use the hashtag so we can find you and see what you're up to. Open collaboration, again, means just anyone can play along. And we did it in threes. It might be a whole lot less confusing if you just had two people and you just did back and forth and back again if you wanted to. We were just going to go round robin from me to Amy to Jean, but then one of us got the idea that wouldn't it be fun actually it was me I, i'll own it i'll say it i did it because when i was watching their videos when they were harvesting a mag the magazines i sent i was seeing all kinds of things in there that i thought why didn't i take that i should have taken that i hope it's th i hope it's still there maybe i can get the magazines back and then i said to the girls hey, why don't we do a fourth round and give them back to each other and see if there's anything left to be salvaged. I don't know if you watched the last video. I hope you did. If not, I'll link it below. I got a truckload from the last batch, so we'll see what's left in this batch. I'm happy to report that it's snowing and we have snow on the ground and it looks like winter here finally. Yeah, it really does grow on you. I'm surprised. I, I wasn't real thrilled with the first cup, but the second cup, pretty good. Oh, and as promised, I now have a nice wet sponge right next to me here so I don't have to lick my fingers when I'm going through the magazines. The, mag the stack I got from Jean was quite a bit bigger um than this so hopefully this won't take nearly as long i found a truckload back in time i am spartacus that's kind of funny oh a cardinal amy you missed a cardinal i was just watching some i let little miss bitsy out and i do my deep breathing exercises while i watch her and wait for her to do her thing which right now she's just loving romping through the snow she's so funny typically they don't like the cold or the snow but she is having a ball out there and she just feels the need to make new paths in the in the snow 
up to her belly. It is up to her belly and then some in some places. Look at that beautiful cardinal. I love that quote. A bird a hundred feet away is merely a bird, but within arm's reach, it's an animated thing to marvel at, which is exactly what I was doing. I have a pair of cardinals that live in my backyard or near my backyard, and I see them almost every day. They're gorgeous. Oh, and there's a blue jay. Not a great picture of a blue jay, but I'm going to take it because I love blue jays. I like the phrase, best seat in the house. At the Fun Spray Spa recently. So my fingers are a mess. These little things are pretty for inchies or twinchies or whatever size they are. You have to cover up. I wish they wouldn't put the numbers on there because then they'd be perfect. I don't think I'm going to take them because the numbers are on there, but if you're looking at magazines, watch for those kinds of pictures, in the usually in the table of contents. These numbers are excellent for, for things. Oh, look, another one. Caption this. Oh, dear. Flashbacks of the Birds in Bloom's Glue Book adventure. But look at them arguing. They're so cute. I'm going to take it just because of the Birds and Blooms thing in our Seasons Glue Book, which is another open collaboration I have going with Amy at Doki Doki Forest. Oh, hashtag using the same images. There's a, a whole thing about Birds and Blooms in there that we did. The Winged Blackbird. I know Amy likes those. I can't believe she didn't take those. Thank you, Amy, for leaving it. Love the numbers. Great numbers. Good colors. Nice size. Fun to play with. Consumer Reports. There's not much in here. It is a challenge and it's now fourth round, so we'll see. I'm going to take these and I'm just going to cut out the clip art, not the words, and put them either on my black page for a pop of color with green or on my green page in my colors glue book. So again, I'm not gonna use the words, I'm just gonna use the little clip art in my colors glue book. Oh yeah, the sponge works way better than the, I missed this completely. I, well, I might have commented on it. It's got the Apple logo and I am a Mac head from, I've been with Apple since Apple started and I have projects I've been collecting Apple images. You don't see them much because they don't do a lot of print advertising. So when I saw this, when Amy flipped through it, I thought, I hope it's still there. I hope it's still there. And it is. Now it's mine. I'm so glad I got the magazines back. He's kind of funny. Snowman roasting a hot dog over the grill. <laughs> oh, look, I don't even have to tear it out. I'm going to take this little office setup for my green page and my green glue book and my colors glue book. Last video I thought about, and I'm still thinking about, instead of doing a colors glue book, I have enough composition books. I could just have one for each color and just have a never ending <laughs> colors glue book thing going on. I have to say starting bigger projects like that is kind of troublesome because you never finish. It takes forever to finish something that big. But then you don't, you don't have to always start over again. Six of one, half dozen of the other, my grandma would say. Oh, I like that big A. I kind of like that, but not enough to take it. Fun little watercolor. This is kind of neat. This would be cool for a Marguerite Miller type. She uses a lot of, not color necessarily, she uses a lot of black and white formulas, numbers, those kinds of things. And every time I see something like this, it makes me think it'd be, it'd be really cool just part of it in a collage or a few parts of it in collage or master boards. I'm going to take this green arrow for the green. Actually, I'll take it all because I have a gray, gray pages in. So I'll cut out the green arrow for the green pages of the glue, color glue book and the gray. If this was a Tahoe, I'd cut it out, but it's a Suburban, so I'm going to leave it. And I have plenty of glue book, glue pads, plenty, plenty, so I am putting these in the recycle bin now. 
they have served their purpose. They served whatever purpose they served when they first went to publication and then maybe somebody shared it with a relative or family member and then we got it at a free table or from somebody we love and know and love and they got their way with it and then we harvested it and sent it around everybody har I mean they have we have used and used and used and used the magazines so I have no guilt about putting them in the recycle bin now I like life etc this, this one's been around since 2006, this AARP magazine. That's cute. Puppers eating pizza. Eat more to stay thin. <laughs> Doesn't look like a happy pupper, though. And I like, I like happy, healthy puppers. I really like this colored map. Nice and colorful with the white push pins on it. Very cool. And it's so cool because, again... I'm seeing things as if for the first time, you know, we all know I have some memory issues now and again, and it's it's really nothing like having Alzheimer's, but a taste of it, like, oh, today's a new day. Huh, really? I looked at this yesterday. Looks new to me. Some, sometimes it's not always a problem, but I'm also a different person all these months down the road. I'm seeing things with different projects in mind and through different filters and in a different mood and... So I'm seeing things completely different than I did before. I like this drawer full of donuts. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna take it. I was on the back. I think I can't live without. I like these odd little things. This flower curled up around to look at its own leaf to see what time it is. I like odd little pictures like that. Nice big, big bee. So I do have a teal page. Do I want the big B? No, because they wrote in it. So, no, I'm not going to take the big B. Beautiful wisteria. Can't get out of bed-itis. <laughs> oh, there's a pupper. Baltimore in the heart of the shopping district. Look at all those guitars. These are fun. I'll take those for... The color glue book. What's on the side? Oh, meat eater. Grill happy. Meat eater. This is hilarious. I love this. Natural born griller. Ah! <laughs> I love this. That's good stuff. Taking it. Brilliant. How to set up your grill. How do you want things to happen? Different ways. Direct grilling. Two zone grilling. Indirect grilling. Brilliant. Dr. Scholl's homely little shoes. I like that house on a stack of money. That's cute. Friends for life for my Boston book. Oh, coming in on the home stretch. This was a catalog that I sent to Amy because it had a lot of foresty things in it. I did take a few things out. You know, I took the dog stuff out. There's not much left. <laughs> that's, that's so cool. That is the whole point. This poor dog, he's so terribly cross-eyed and homely. I just left him in all his weird outfits. I just left him on purpose. <laughs> I would take a cross-eyed dog for, you know, in real life. But when it's a piece of art or something that someone's going to spend money, get the eyes right. But I would never make fun of a cross-eyed dog in, like, a live cross-eyed dog. Never, never. That's kind of cute. I'll take it for my, my nephew's book. He's very much into Lodgy. What is this one? This is from National Parks. I have a few dark projects that I'm working on. This will be perfect for that. Love the snow picture. It's a win-win. This feels like a, a cover though, and it's super heavy, and I don't love it enough to deal with that, so I'm just gonna leave it. This just doesn't look like any fun at all to me. Not I love snow when I can be home by the fire with it. <laughs> To be out in it, up to your arse, out in the mountains, it's probably beautiful, but no flipping thank you. Mm-mm. No. No. Mm-mm. Out in the water? Hail to the no. Mm-mm. I've been to the Grand Canyon, and it's fantastic. I didn't think I'd get... I didn't think... Ugh. I never wanted to go there. But we went there just as a spur-of-the-moment fluke, and it's gorgeous everybody should go once and see it it you, pictures don't do it justice videos talks you gotta see it you gotta be there there's all these signs all over that say and i'm not kidding they're little they're just little guys down by your feet 
and it says, people die here. Stay away from the edge. <laughs> and we all do it. I did it. But a lot of times with these pictures, right below this, like three feet below her feet is another ledge. So she's perfectly safe unless she's running. You know, although people are stupid, she might be on the edge. Who knows? That's why we have to post signs at something called the Grand Canyon to not get too close to the edge. Because people are stupid. Gotta love, gotta love a bird walk and a left turn sometimes. Oh, and a Krabby Crafter rant. You get the whole package. Ah, oh, new different coffee mug. The road to my heart is paved with paw prints and there's a little heart in there. So cute. Oh, I almost took it. <laughs> They're being creative. I love that, but I would cut the rest of it out and everyone would just think that it's spelled wrong and that would drive me bananas. So I'm not taking it. Oh, this is part of the national parks too. I like the number 22 and it's on this beautiful water. Maybe that'll go on my blue part. I was going to take the water, but the sails, the lines for the sails are all mixed up in it and I don't want that. I can take that little guy for my colors glue book. That was pretty. And the last one, the last one. Again, really good numbers. These are great for master boards and clusters and ATCs, all kinds of things. Another little inchy. Watch for those little pictures in magazines for inchies. And I wanna say her name is Sharon, I'm not sure. But I think her channel is called Tattered Tattered Edge Designs, I think. She did a collage of squares, one and a half inch squares. I want to go back and revisit that. It was it looked so fun and I, I want to try it. But watch for these squares or that kind of square in bigger pictures to make that kind of collage. If I can find the video, I'll link it below because it was it was so good. There's another one. Oh, The Outsiders. Remember that book and the movie? I'll probably take institutional knowledge and this information about The Outsiders and the scroll. I love that. So beautiful. Here's what you'll learn. Come on, take that. Put it somewhere. I love it. Novel readership. That's pretty cool. Before there was jazz. Oh, I love that F. First Light in London. Super cool F. And look at that key. That's awesome. Two keys. And there's a little tiny key on top of it. On top of that big key. The key to the Pikes chamber a low vaulted room dating to the 11th century where royal gold and silver coins were stored in wooden chests it's either pikes or picks p-y-x wow this is a hundred i think let me see 42 yeah this is a 102 foot tall gothic vault it's the highest in england the 18th century west window depicts the Hebrew patriarchs and the 12 tribes of Israel. That is an amazing, amazing picture and place. Wow. These look like candles now, so it's more like a cathedral. Really cool. I'm going to take that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I, I just really like it. I just think selfies are the most ridiculous thing in the whole world. When did we come so selfie important? I can't imagine. I mean, I get wanting, this isn't actually just a selfie. It's, hey, let's, I get this, I get it. But we'd always ask somebody, hey, would you take our picture? Now we don't have to interrupt. So that's all right. But like, this is me eating lunch. This is me in the bathroom. This is me, I got a sliver. This is me in the mall. This is me in my car. Oh my God, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I don't get it. I will never get it. I've taken exactly two selfies and, well, three. Two of them were for my doctor because they had, you know, I had to show what was going on. And one is with my little man. And the only way I could get his face was to take a selfie and my mug was in it. I edited me out because it wasn't about me. It was about him.
This is weird, but I kind of like it, so I'm going to take it. There's a dogger. That's pretty. I don't know what I would do with it, so I'm not going to take it. Oh, school. Notebooks. Field notes. That's kind of neat. Again, I don't know what of or what for, but I'm going to take it. These little maps are kind of cool. Yikes. Poor cows. I'm going to take under control. Wow, look at running rhinos. Taking it. This is really cool. Artist Shane Grammer offered hope to the residents by painting murals throughout the town, including the one above and the ruins of a food pantry. But look at this mural. I love this burnt out building with gorgeous art in it. I'm taking that. One of the things this challenge does, either whether you're sharing it with people or doing over and over and over re harvesting your own magazines is it challenges you to really look at things when it's a brand new magazine it's just overflowing with possibility and it's there's so much eye candy you can hardly keep up and you just you just take you feel like a glutton just take and take and take and take and take well when it's been gone through several times you really have to focus. You really have to look at the things and see. Like, I don't remember seeing this at all. It seems to me that that would have been awesome even in August. There was just too much to look at and I missed it as far as I can tell. I love this. So that's another good part of this challenge is it really kind of stretches your creative muscles and to look at what's there what's left, what's left in the rubble and making something wonderful out of what's left of a burned out house. Very cool old map, very cool old picture and postmark of something. Oh, it's a telegram. Gonna take those. The power of portraiture. Discover what you love. I'm gonna take that. And this is Westminster. I'm going to I'm going there someday to England to see these places and and visit visit Janet Nash. <laughs> Forewarn Janet, someday I might show up on your doorstep. I'll give you fair warning though, I promise. <laughs> Fun little stamp collage. That'd make a great little part of a cluster or part of a master board. Cut out the ones that that are intact and whole add them to your master board. That would be fun. And that is that. That's it. That is all she wrote. Four rounds. Me, Amy, Jean, and back again. Times two. Me, Jean, Amy, and back again. And I still found, even though there wasn't much there bulk-wise, I still found loads and loads of cool things to use in my glue books, in my various projects. I also found things for other people. So even if you get an old magazine and there's some things torn out of it, don't discount it. Even though someone gives you a half-eaten magazine, don't discount it. Even though you have some magazines you've already gone through, but it's been months, see them with new eyes. Try it again. So glad you're here with us for this. If you take part in this hashtag open collaboration, tag myself, Amy, and Jean in so we can check it out. I'd love to see what you do with your harvesting magazines and swapping them with each other. Or take it on, do a one-man show. Say, these are my old magazines from last year, but I'm doing the harvested mag swap with myself and seeing what I can find in my old stuff. I think you'll be surprised. Until we meet again, please, 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 please love up your Beasleys. Cause you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Apparently, we've lost a toy under the sink. Oh my, it's an emergency. Buddy's got it under control though. Buddy's on it, right? You okay, bud? Buddy? <laughs> <laughs>
Such a funny boy. Can I help you? Can I help you? Mate at the lake. Out for now.